Let's rock and roll. Let's have some fun. Hello, Aquarius. Ramblin' Mike here. Gonna play a little bit of tarot with ya. Thanks for tuning in again one more time, Aquarius. Happy birthday, Aquarius. Aquarius season, my friends. Let me sing you a little song, huh? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, my amazing Aquarians. Happy birthday to you and many more. All right, all right, all right, Aquarius season. I feel good, I feel good. Hope you do too, Aquarius. Uh, pulling relationship spreads today, playing with a fun deck. It's kind of new to me. It is called uh, Tarot of Traditions. It's by Los Cabero. I'm gonna freestyle with that, Aquarius. I'm gonna freestyle with it. I got uh, Dancing in the Dark for my clarifier tonight. The he said, she said's right there. A couple of love cards, you know, because I'm looking for a love story. Although these are relationship spreads, I can't talk about home, work, family, the neighbors, the kids, but I'm gonna throw some love cards on here and see what they talk about on top of this relationship spread. A couple of majors, you know how I do it around here. I'm gonna continue uh, on with the, uh, the giveaway. I'm doing the giveaway again, February. I had fun with it, putting everybody's names down, connecting my energy with everybody that dropped me a little comment right there. Uh, again, I'm going to give away a free FaceTime, free FaceTime tarot read with a little rambling mic, uh, a couple of tarot decks, some t-shirts. Uh, that'll be the last Sunday in February coming up. So if you're interested in playing the game, go ahead and drop me a comment. Give me a happy face. Give me a high mic. I will return it with a little pink ticket. Let you know that your name's in the barrel for the big drawing last Sunday of February. And I do want to I do I do want to welcome all my cross watchers as well. You're absolutely welcome around here, my cross watchers. And I want to remind you that my spreads can absolutely play out from a first person perspective. For who's ever looking at this video right here. All that being said, I'm ready for some cards, Aquarius. How about you, my birthday babies? Let's go, Source. What's going on around here? Wow, look what jumped out right here, Aquarius. Seven of Cups. Damn. <laughs> Aquarius. Aquarius got some options out there, huh? Aquarius got some options going on these days. One of them seems pretty lit up, though. You know, the Seven of Cups. Hmm? A lot of them are full of snakes and ghouls and goblins and ghosters and coasters. I don't know. There's one pretty lit up right there, Aquarius. Seven of Cups jumped out as your overall. Oh, there's somebody that's going to be approaching you, Aquarius. That's what these cards are talking about. Maybe, you know, what Mikey calls the slow pony. You know, where the hell you been? Where, what? What? Is this a slow pony showing up around here, Aquarius? This is the Knight of Pinnacles. They may have some earth in their chart. You know, oh, look at this. Look at this Knight of Pentacles here. This, this pony's actually moving, Aquarius. Oh, damn it. The slow pony is actually getting a little yah on the pony right there. Let's go, Aquarius. Aquarius. Aquarius got... Don't forget about me, Aquarius. <laughs> don't forget about me, Aquarius. Well, 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 well. Oh, yeah, you may have put it down at one time. How come Ten Wands is here, Aquarius? How come that old heavy burden came out behind the slow pony right there? You may have put this down a while ago, you know. <laughs> uh, that's, a, that's the old heavy burden. That's the old heavy burden, you know. And, and here, here is a uh, here is a reevaluation. Aquarius has an offer coming in from the slow pony. There may have been a damn burden at one time. <laughs> four, four, four of cups, Aquarius. Well, how come a hair fans here? How come a hair fans here, Aquarius? Hair fan energy on this slow pony. Uh, hair fan is a major arcana, right? He's the Pope in the tarot deck. He's the Pope of the tarot deck. He's a five, you know. He can be a lot of contrast. 
Um, sometimes the hair fat can talk about those old contracts that we signed up for in the 5D before we come here and play in the 3D, huh? This is a slow pony coming in with hair fat energy. Well, 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 we got a story here, don't we, Aquarius? Let's take a little look, see, oh, damn, there's that ace of wands. <laughs> there's that ace of wands, Aquarius. Oh, man, that thing's sprouting leaves. That's that ace of wands, you know. You throw that on the, down on the ground. There it is, showing back up, Aquarius. <laughs> <laughs> Aquarius, I gotta show you the next card. It's the devil. <laughs> it's your devil, Aquarius. <laughs> it's your devil coming in here with their wand. A wand, you know. Aquarius would be like, where's the love? Where's the love? We'd like some love around here, you know. We can get this anywhere we want. We want some love. Anyway, Aquarius, your, your devil just showed up here in your spread. I haven't seen him for a while. I haven't seen him for a while, Aquarius. The devil showed up. Wow, there is a face card right here, too. There's a face card right here for somebody. It's Queen of Wands energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You know, Queen of Wands. I love the Queen of Wands, but they can be a little bit promiscuous. Especially when they're showing up behind the devil and an ace of wands. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Aquarius, you're reading tonight, man. Yeah, they can be a little bit promiscuous, male or female, right? The devil, the devil don't care, man. Huh? <laughs> oh, they're coming in with all their charm, Aquarius. Hi, hi, Aquarius. <laughs> oh, shit, man. Oh, Aquarius, I don't know about all this. I don't know about all this. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. There they come, man. They don't like where they've been. They don't like where they've been. What's this about? A solid offer? A solid offer from your devil? <laughs> Did you manifest this, Aquarius? <laughs> the magician showed up. Yeah, this is... Oh, damn it. They had, someone had a tower, Aquarius. Somebody had a tower. There's a magician here. And a devil and a tower. And somebody getting in the boat want to get the hell out of Dodge, Aquarius. Damn, uh, maybe something backfired. You know, I'm just reading Otero around here. Why are they why are they running away from wherever they have been, Aquarius? <laughs> huh? Certainly looks like some kind of backfire. We could say that, can't we, Aquarius? Well, 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 well. Yeah, they want a new world. What? Oh, they left somebody. They left somebody, Aquarius. <laughs> okay. Give me some more on this right here. Give me some more. See, they left somebody. See? It's a world. And it's, you know, it's all about them so far, Aquarius. I know it's your read. Happy birthday to you. But it's about this, uh, it's about this slow pony. You probably know who they are. They had a backfire or something. Something ended for them. They definitely want a new uh, shot with you. The world card showed up, Aquarius. Yeah, the fire pony. The fire pony right there. We all know them. Good looking, exciting, charismatic, fun to be with. And, uh, wow, well, there's a king of pentacles right there. That's a that's a, that's a card of committed relationship. I, I would say that with the tower right there. Well, the fire pony seems to be looking for a new adventure around here, Aquarius. I don't know if it's all that promising. I know that they couldn't sleep at all last night. Do, 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 do. And they'd be thinking long and hard about this offer. They'd be thinking long and hard. This is a page of pens right here. Thinking long and hard about Aquarius. Is Aquarius even going to pick up the phone? Oh, my goodness. What has gone on with you two, man? Uh, it may have been the sun one time between you two.
But something happened, man. This is a death card. This is a death card. Death, birth, resurrection. That's what they're hoping for. They're hoping for a resurrection. Looks like you two have taken a break. Or at least Aquarius has. Setting yourself apart, healing the heart, healing the mind. That's four swords. There's a two cups energy here. There is. This person wants to rekindle with you, Aquarius. They want to rekindle with you. You probably know who it is. It's got a hair fine energy on it right there. It's got a hair fine energy on this, Aquarius. Somebody, somebody may have gone and got married. Huh? Or maybe they were married while they were flirting with you or whatever was going on around here. I know they want to resurrect the sun. See, because the... Uh, the death card traditionally has the sun on it. Oh, it's it's right there on this card as well. See the sun? The sun coming up between the towers. Very interesting, Aquarius. Wow, the first card right here is the lavas. The lavas. What an interesting story right here, Aquarius. No wonder you will, if they haven't already contacted you, it says you will be Thinking about this long and hard. Thinking about it long and hard. Yeah, there's the offer to the two cups. For Aquarius about a new beginning. And then we got a lover's card. We got the lover's card. Uh, we got uh, the Hierophant. We got the Magician. A lot of major arcanas around here. The sun, death, a tower. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's, this is this is already uh, telling the same story. Six of Wands. This can be, you know, uh, a victorious. You know, somebody wants a victorious return with Aquarius. They want the attention. They want the attention that you used to give them, Aquarius. They want an old cycle to end and a new cycle to begin. All right, give me some cards right here. All this has been about uh, whoever this is, man. They are definitely thinking heavily of you. I picked up on their energy. And this tarot just runs away with it right here, Aquarius. They want the sun to shine in their life again. Somebody's had a tower. Yeah, they want their star baby back in their life. They want their star back in their life, Aquarius. Uh-huh, it's right there. Look, Hierophant. Oh, my God, man. Hierophant. Jiminy Crickets. What are they thinking about, man? What are they thinking about, Aquarius? <laughs> and there's that king. There's, a, there's that king of wands. Oh, it's divine masculine. There's your emperor card right there. Male or female, Aquarius. Male or female, your emperor has showed up around here. They had a tower somewhere, wherever they've been, for however long they've been, where they've been at. You put it down, ten wands. We're like, no, this is too heavy, man. We want some cups, and all you seem to be showing up around here is with wands. I mean, wands are great, but, you know, we need more to a relationship than just wands. Come on. Come on. All right. Give me some cards for Aquarius, please. What's been going on with my Aquarius? Seems how it is your read. Let's focus on you. And then, uh, and then we'll pull some cards, some love cards on this right here. Maybe we'll get some advice out of it. Prepare yourself. You probably know who this is. It's your emperor. Or who's ever rocking one of those relationships, huh? What's going on with Aquarius? Couple cards for Aquarius, please. Couple cards for Aquarius, please. Um, that's a Knight of Wands. A Knight of Wands, Aquarius. Uh, you may be off on a new adventure yourself. You may be just enjoying life. Oh, the first card out for you was, huh? Seven of Cups. Oh, damn, Aquarius. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, Aquarius. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Aquarius. Enjoy yourself. But remember, most of those cups are full of snakes and ghouls and goblins and ghosts and coasters. So have fun out there. Be safe. Be safe. Give me some cards for Aquarius right here. Give me some cards for Aquarius. What's going on with Aquarius? Oh, the Seven of Cups. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> Aquarius. Okay, happy birthday to you. Everybody's loving on Aquarius right now. <laughs> Hi, Aquarius. How are you today? Oh, I'm doing good. Doing good. <laughs> Aquarius. Damn, happy birthday, Aquarius. 
Happy birthday. How about that? True that. Everybody loving on Aquarius right now. Everybody loving on Aquarius. Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords. Oh, there, there they are. Oh, damn. Don't forget about me, Aquarius. Don't forget about me over here. <laughs> yeah. I like your story, Aquarius. Oh, yeah. There they are. The little spy. The little page of swords. They may have fire in their chart. They may have air in their chart. Whoever, whoever dominated your spread right here, Aquarius. Yeah, they be they be they be seeing everybody loving on you. They be like looking at look at this story right here, man. Let me check it. Oh God, it's the time to get up out of this seat. Is it time for me to bust the move? Oh Lordy, look at Aquarius. <laughs> hey, Aquarius, I'm having fun with your spread. Hope you are too. Yeah, let me keep an eye on you the whole time. The whole time. I don't know what's this. Uh, you know, it's I don't know. Was it last week? Last month? Last year? Five years ago, this is a hair fan energy right here, man. This is a hair fan. There wasn't sun shining with you two at one time, but, well, looks like somebody may have gone and got married or something over there. That didn't seem to work out. Tower. All right, Aquarius. Aquarius. <laughs> Aquarius. Aquarius. Give me more cards on my Aquarius, babies. Went right back over to them. Can't take their eyes off you. Oh, look at Justice came out. Another major arcana. Big Libra for somebody. Somebody wants to, again, it goes back to this king. They may have air in their chart. They may have fire in their chart. Again, it goes back to them talking about that they want to balance things out with you. There's their cup. Damn, Aquarius. There's their cup for my Aquarian. Oh, Lordy. Yeah. <laughs> See? Death, birth, resurrection, <laughs> major transformation. Well, you let me know in the comments right there. Some of them may live at a distance. I don't know, man. They're looking for their ship. They're looking for their ship, Aquarius. That's three wands. Oh, look at them. Oh, my God, Aquarius. Aquarius, they're about goo goo gaga over you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> They <laughs> look at them. They're standing on the seashore. Oh, 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 Aquarius. Well, 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 well. Look at this. This actually says that they may be being led and guided by the divine. That's a hermit card. So, hey, if they used to run the streets or whatever, um, I would say they're quiet and getting tuned in with Source. Definitely miss you, Aquarius. Definitely miss you. Uh, they could be, you know, this is about planetary alignment. So we had a big shift with Pluto, didn't we? That's about planetary alignments and somebody feeling that they're being led and guided by the divine. Who? This emperor right here. This emperor feels they're being led and guided by the divine to Aquarius for long term. Wow, we did have a... Yeah, look, as soon as I showed the high priest, oh, Lordy, the high priestess came out. Oh, you too, man. Played with each other probably many, many, many times here on Earth. Sign up for those contracts one more time in the 5D. Damn it, man, there's that Ace of Wands. They're about persistent. <laughs> yeah. They're about persistent, aren't they? Look, another major arcana, Hangman. Now, Hangman is about somebody uh, maybe dealing with Dark Knight of the Soul. There is a tower over there. Hangman is about a new perspective, thinking about things differently, feeling things differently. I'm gonna, this is your friend right here. I, I, you're shining. You're rocking. You got seven of cups and fire pony. Yeah, happy birthday. I mean, I, I'm feeling them right here, Aquarius. Let's shake these out. Let's shake these out of their life right here, huh? Out, out, out! Out of Aquarius' friend's heart. Oh, yeah, baby. Nine of cups. Is this you? Is this you, Aquarius, man or female? I like your energy, Aquarius. Happy birthday to you. But who's this over here? 
<laughs> you know, Queen of Swords. <laughs> you know, King and the Queen of Swords story right here. They've been looking at all the competition for Aquarius anymore. Well, 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 well. I want you to do what's best for you. You may have manifested this. You may have manifested this. There's another major arcana. It is the magician. A very, very powerful magician. All right. All right, Aquarius. It says that, you know, they miss you. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I wish them the best. It appears they're coming in broken hearted. You know, they probably need to take, you know, five or ten minutes and heal themselves. Anyway, anyway, man, I don't, you know, who wants to start something with somebody that's broken hearted? Give me a love card right here for Aquarius. So this may unfold as time goes on. I definitely, definitely tuned in with Source and Maria. Yep, past life lover. Past life lover. Many of you have probably already played with him in this incarnation. Oh, there it is right there. There it is right there. Heart to heart conversations. Somebody wants to honestly tell you how they feel about you anymore, Aquarius. What is this with all these major arcanas? This is... <laughs> Aquarius, cover your eyes. This is the old divine timing card right here. Oh, Lordy, 2024. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> 2024. Soulmate. Soulmate. It might say twin flame. Huh? It might. It might. It might, Aquarius. That one says soulmate, though, my friend. That one says soulmate. Yeah, Aquarius getting all kinds of attention. Yeah, somebody's coming in in the Six of Swords boat, Aquarius. <laughs> Give me a major for my Aquarius, lovelies. Do what's best for you, Aquarius. Enjoy your birthday season. The lovers. The lovers. The lovers. Oh, there's, there's the Empress. There's Aquarius. <laughs> Looking good. Looking good, Aquarius. Just rocking in, rocking in Venus energy. That's love and abundance. You know, Empress don't chase. Empress don't chase. Man or female, give me one more major. One more major for my Aquarius, babies. What's going on around here? Oh. This is judgment. And, um... It is a uh, it is a card of rebirth. It's also a card of enlightenment. I see my Aquarian right up there. Looks like you're jumping into a whole new world of enlightenment, awakening, greater understandings. I hope, you know, that they are able to climb this mountain right here. You can see the difference, right? I hope they can climb this mountain because they got this. This has just begun with them. They just had some kind of an awakening about all these major arcanas. I hope maybe that they can get up here before you disappear. They're hoping that too. Anyway, Aquarius, I love you. Thanks for uh, uh, viewing this far in the video. Appreciate you so very much. If you're new around here. Uh, hopefully I've earned your subscription as one of your tarot readers. If I have, Aquarius, smash that old subscription button right there. Ring my bell. Hit that I like mic button if you would. And um, drop down in the comments. Give me a happy face. Uh, tell me what you think about all this right here. I'd like to know. Anyway, I love you guys. Enjoy the journey. Be safe, Aquarius. Seven cups. <laughs> Bye for now, my friends. Bye for now. All right, all right, all right.